What is up you guys welcome to or welcome back to my channel my name is Tawana if you are new here and we have another weekly vlog of course like you saw from our title of the video um, so this morning you guys saw that I basically I went to church um, well, I had breakfast really big breakfast since it's Sunday went to church and then I stopped by stopped by the grocery store because I wanted to get me like a couple of um, things to cook today I am making uh, pasta no what's it called vodka pasta um or is it like vodka pot penne a la vodka or <laughs> something like that but it's basically i'm making um some penne pasta with vodka sauce and i'm gonna put in some like beef in there 
To be honest, I'm not like a big beef person. Usually I'm like chicken or turkey. But I was just like, let me just make something different for once because I'm always eating those two types of meats. Um, you guys saw what I kind of got at the store. Let me just show you quickly for what we're making, of course. All right. Oop. Okay, so I did pick up some ground beef. This is just the Publix brand ground beef because I was like, I don't care. And then the sauce I took is my battery is about to die and I'm running. Okay, I'm back. I switched out my battery and the memory card. But the sauce I picked up, guys, so I've made um, vodka pasta before, but I feel like the very first time I made it, I used a sauce, which was amazing. And it wasn't a super expensive sauce, but whenever I went back and tried like other sauces that I thought was the one I used initially, it just never tasted just as good, you know? Um, so I took the Rayos or the Rao's, I'm not sure how you pronounce this brand really, but um, I've used their like marinara sauce before just for like regular spaghetti, and it's really good quality. I think it says this is actually based from a restaurant, like a really good restaurant in New York. So I was like, I'm just gonna play it safe, although this is a little pricier than like usual sauces. Um, I know it's gonna be good quality and it will taste great. So I got that for the sauce. And then I had the pasta, the penne pasta already. I just picked up this blend of Parmesan cheese with Romano cheese. I've never seen it before and I was like, I like both of them, so why not? So here's what I'm gonna do. Um, I'm gonna cook, no, actually before I cook because I want to change out of my clothes and everything. I got a few things for like fall, which are like um, an Amazon jacket, some new Uggs and some stuff from Zara. So I'm gonna give you guys a quick haul from those things that I got yesterday and then we can get to cooking. All right guys, so I have the goodies. Um, let's start off with the shoes. So like I've been saying, um, I got some Uggs because Every season, I say I'm gonna get me a pair of Uggs and then I wait till mid-fall, early winter, and by that time, all the sizes are gone. So, I got the Ugg Tasmans, you guys, in like this color right here with the platform. And oh, look how pretty that is. I think it is so pretty for like a pair of slippers. And I think this is the color Sand, I think, was on the website. But yeah, I got this one right here. Oop, the box. Let me put this box down, y'all. <laughs> yeah, so it is in the color sand, and they look like this with the platform, like I was saying. And I was like in between this and getting the classic pair, like, you know, the, I guess the tan color. But I was just like, I'm a neutral girl. Obviously the tan is neutral too, but I was like, I really like this color for some reason. So I got these for now. And I'm eventually gonna get the regular tan color, but I'm not sure if I want them in this style, which is a Tasman or a different style. So eventually when I make my mind up, I'll get that. But these are the shoes. Um, let me show you guys Zara. So I got three things from there. I already took them out of the box and they're on the hangers, guys. So I'm just gonna show you what it looks like. Um, so I got this really pretty like dress and I feel like it's really nice for early fall before it actually gets like really, you know, chilly or cold outside because it's like a sleeveless halter neck and the colors, guys. So it's got like this really pretty burgundy with a purple lining and then just this really pretty, of course, um, tan color as well coming all the way down with some detailing, which is not really real, but <laughs> it's got this detailing. And I'll insert a picture for you guys off the website, but I think I'm gonna wear this on the weekend so you will see how it fits me then. Uh, but I really like it and again, perfect for like right now because it's not really cold yet. The temperature is still fluctuating here and there. So on a warmer day in the fall time, I just thought this is perfect again because of the colors and just neutrals, but also it being like sleeveless with this really pretty deep V. Oh, and the zipper goes all the way down by the way. So, so if you want to increase the cleavage or not, you can always do that. <laughs> the next thing I got, you guys, I was watching somebody else's like haul, a very just random person's haul on YouTube hair, and I saw that she had these pair of like khaki green dress pants. This is what sold me. Again, I'm gonna insert a clip because I'm, I don't feel like trying this on right now for you guys. But the cuffs at the bottom, like, tell me this isn't the prettiest thing ever. Like, oops, it's so long, hold on. But yeah, look at the cuffing. I'm gonna look through here. <laughs> look at the cuffing detail on this. I just thought like, this is such a pretty detail in the pants. And not only that, um, the color, you guys know, um, I love khaki green, of course, my favorite fall color. And then the like whole, I don't know, the belt detailing, like you can wrap the belt up as much as you want or don't want. I thought that was really cool as well. So this was, I didn't tell you guys that the dress was 
this is $89.90. So it's a little bit of pricier, but really good fabric and material. And I had to size down because I feel like I already knew this, you guys, once I see the material. I have these like khaki structured pants from Zara and they always are, they always run a little big. Like I was even scared that the extra small would not fit me because I have a pair of like extra small khaki shorts and the waist was still large. But this fit perfectly. So again, if you're getting them, size down once. And the last thing I got from Zara, this top, you guys. Look how pretty this like. It's like a cardigan-esque top. It's not an actual cardigan. The fabric is so thick. It is so thick and weighted. You're gonna be warm in this for sure in the fall time, guys. Um, what I really liked was obviously the gold button detailing is really pretty. That V-neck again, and then the bat wing like type of short sleeves. Like, look how just feminine the silhouette of this whole thing is. Um, I did size up in this one because I really wanted the sleeves to stand out. I'm gonna try this on for you guys. <laughs> but I wanted the sleeves to stand out, that's why I was like, let me size up and just make sure I have that like flutter sleeve effect. And this was only $47.90, so really good price for the fabric and material that you're getting. Okay, so this is what the top looks like, you guys. I'm really just like squat, swatting right now, so you can see in the lighting. So you see what I was talking about when I wanted like the bat wing type of like movement on my, not really movement, but just like bigger sleeves. That's why again, I size up to the medium. And it's really structured, so it's like, you see, you see how it sits. Um, the gold buttons, like I said, and then it's still pretty fitted for a medium. So, unless if you want something that's like really just like skin tight, I say you can size up in this top as well, but your regular size or sizing up will work perfectly. But I absolutely love this. All right, and the very last thing I got is from Amazon, guys. And I've been wanting a black just like thin, not thin, but you know, lightweight bomber jacket for a minute. This was on sale for like $12.99 on Amazon, which was like half the price off. So I was like, let me just pick it up now. And it is size medium in black. The reviews are pretty good. Just looks like this. And yeah, pretty standard lightweight again jacket. So let me just pop it on. I put on this little tank so we can see what it would look like. Okay. From looking in the lens, it does look pretty fine for me. Mm, sleeves are long actually, so that's nice. And size medium, so this I have a short sleeve, well I have a sleeveless tank right now, but once I'm wearing something that's like layering with a long sleeve, the extra room in these arms will come definitely into effect, but nice little lightweight jacket, and that's everything. I'm actually getting hungry, so let me put on some comfy clothes and we can head to the kitchen and I can cook this pasta.
Good morning guys. It is Monday actually, a gloomy Monday. Another work from home day and I wanted to come on camera because, so I saw this video, well I've seen it since last fall actually, but it was a video that makes like the copycat version of the Starbucks pumpkin creme or pumpkin cream chai latte or chai, something like that. It's basically <laughs> a chai tea, um, no, no coffee of course, but it's like a chai tea with the pumpkin cream um, on top, cold foam and all that good stuff. And you guys know that I love me, love me that, <laughs> um, that drink from Starbucks. Now we're not going to Starbucks anymore because we already know what they're doing um, as far as, you know, Gaza and Israel situation. So we're not going to Starbucks this fall or winter or whatever. What we are gonna do though, since I saw that recipe, I went back on TikTok and I found it. Um, I also double checked it across like on Google because I feel like sometimes, you know, TikTok might not be the best source. But I found a recipe and we're gonna be making it today just so we can get into our like fall feels again. And again, I hope it tastes very similar at least, if not exact to the one from Starbucks. So the first thing I saw was that I needed this pumpkin pie flavored sauce from the brand Tarani and I actually had to order this on Amazon to get it because it's sold out like everywhere else. And I barely didn't get it because I think I put it in my cart on Amazon to buy it like the next morning because I'm always like online at late at night <laughs> on Amazon. But I put it in the cart and then I guess from the seller it went out of stock by the next day and I was like, damn it, I should have bought it right away, da 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 da. But um, another seller brought it back, although it was a little bit more expensive than the first one. But here we are, so what we need is the sauce, which I said is like the base of it. The chai tea I'm using, let me show you. So we're using the, I think it's called Twinings. I like this brand of chai tea. Um, and what I did was I just made like a very concentrated amount of it right here. So it's not too watery when we put it in our um, drink. Um, I also gonna be making it in a mason jar, just again to build the vibe. And apart from those two, well, apart from the tea and the sauce, the pumpkin pie sauce, um, I'm gonna be putting obviously milk, so I'm gonna put some almond milk in there. And then I have the creamer, not the creamer, you guys know I have the cold foam, which is like just vanilla sweet cream cold foam. Starbucks uses actual pumpkin creamer or pumpkin cold foam somehow. I think they like add it in there and whatever. We're not doing all that, like, mm -mm. <laughs> I do have some pumpkin pie spice mix, or pumpkin, yeah, pumpkin spice, pumpkin spice mix, my bad. Right, so I do have that pumpkin spice mix, so we're just gonna sprinkle that on top of our cold foam and call it a day. But let's get to making this because I'm really excited to see how it turns out, especially because we have the sauce, okay? pretty good I feel like this is our like drink testing area right now <laughs> looks pretty good um let's oop, let's try it out and see how it actually tastes oops oh my god I'm spilling this all over the floor but <laughs> it's good guys it is good the sauce definitely is like what people said um as far as what Starbucks uses because I can taste it mmm yeah so I'm really pleased with this recipe and I'm happy Again, we can make something at home that saves us some money and tastes just as good. But I'm gonna go get ready. Well, get really started with work. I'll catch you guys later. Tuesday afternoon. I just got home from work at a really busy Tuesday in the office 
and uh, yeah, I'm home now. Um, so we're actually expecting a tropical storm or something coming up this weekend towards like Thursday, Friday. So I'm not sure what we're going to be doing as far as if they want us in the office then or not, especially Thursday. Um, we'll keep, I'll keep you guys posted, of course, as to what's going on. What's, what's happening on my phone here? Oh. <laughs> I didn't want to tell you guys, of course, I know that you guys, well, have been suggesting a little bit more like work insight and everything in the vlogs. So I do, I will address all that for you guys, but not at this particular moment. And I'll explain why, of course, once we get into that. But um, yeah, of course, there's always confidentiality that I have to protect with my work and my career and everything like that. But I will give you guys a little bit more details very soon on everything that's going on. But yeah, I am not really exhausted. Just like, you know, after a day in the office and everything, you just want to go chill. So I'm going to take a shower. Um, I'm probably gonna go back to watching guys. I have been re-watching actually Bates Motel and let me just tell you guys, if you've never watched that show before, you need to. It's so freaking good. <laughs> and it's, um, it's available on Prime Video. I remember like when I first watched it years and years ago, it was on Netflix, but you guys know. Netflix be like losing all the good stuff sometimes, but I saw it on Prime Video and I was like, oh, that was such like a good show. And it's one of those shows where you remember it was really good. But you can always rewatch it because some of the details, like you might have like forgotten it by now. And yeah, so that's the plan for my evening. I'll probably catch up with you guys tomorrow or whenever. All right, guys. So it is actually Saturday, and the plan is we're gonna be going to Target because I need to like. Well, I don't need to, but I want to check out a couple of like new in products that they have for the fall time, and some of them is like a body wash, body scrub that Dove came out with, which was like seasonal scents and everything. So I want to check that out. Um, I also saw that online, I was browsing like on the app and everything. But yeah, um, so I'm going to see if I can get a bomber jacket because there was one online that I wanted, but it's like twice the price of the one at Target. So I'm going to check that out. Also just see what they have in stock for, I guess, the fall time. And yeah, a little bit of browsing. Um, we might go to Marshall's as well, just because I feel like I need to get out of the house. <laughs> I haven't been outside really for the week so yeah um i don't know if you noticed but i'm wearing the dress that i got from zara it's a little like kind of tennis dress type of vibe and i really like it guys yeah really nice fit guys like love it and that's just because today's pretty like warm although it's officially fall it's like 76 degrees and should be up to like 78 so i was like this is perfect because again i want to wear it while it's still warm out and get my money's worth of course so for the bag, uh, I think I'm just going to wear this here. This is also from Zara. Um, I don't know if it's like clashing or if it goes together or not. You guys will tell me, of course, below. But I feel like it's just, you know, pretty neutral as well. Goes with the burgundy collar and everything. And our set for the day. Again, we're still in our fall vibe. So I'm just going to wear my, um, this is my Vanilla 28 by Kaoli. You guys know I've had this for forever. And I'm definitely like a vanilla girl, so. <laughs> I'm always gonna I'm always gonna have like this in stock but ooh, quite a lot <laughs> and I'm just wearing my Sambas if you guys know <laughs> these are a staple so yeah I'm just wearing that with a dress just be comfy of course and I think it, it goes really well with it anyway so yeah but um let's get going and see what Target has in stock for us Okay, so we are in Target. Mm. These are kind of nice. Extra large. You got some cute like little jumpsuits and rompers, I will say. This is pretty in the green. And then I also like like this burgundy. But this was like a long romper. But that's pretty. Okay, these are giving. Like look at the color on this one. Are you kidding me? Look at that. Pretty brown. They also have it in black, of course, but I don't think they have an only an extra small and a medium left in the black. But I don't really like sweaters, I don't really wear them that much anyway. But I might try on the extra small just to see. We 
way too big. You know, we have a, a large left in this one. If it was like a medium or small, I would have taken it, but... Mm. These pumpkin candles smell really good. They have a pumpkin spice cupcake, or you can get the pumpkin woods or sea salt and spice. But I'm not really a big fan of like super pumpkiny stuff to be honest. So I feel like the sea salt and spice smells the best out of the three. These are only five bucks. This one's the best. But I do like like these colors more than this one. And they have the bigger sizes for like ten dollars if you want to try those as well oh they have um this one here which is also vanilla pumpkin let me try it out Ooh, this is the one sometimes i don't want these companies to be serious because why are you making pumpkin spice popcorn tell me lesser evil you guys know i really like the himalayan pink salt regular one but why do we need pumpkin spice popcorn like take it down a notch please there's a like limited edition. This is the body scrub and this is the body wash, but they only have the cinnamon pumpkin pie one. So I don't know if I'll try it out and see. Okay, so this is our new like scent for the holidays. And I'm not impressed. It's okay, but it's not like special to me. <laughs> it's very light scented. But yeah, it's the fresh and cozy one. Okay, so I found this really pretty suede bag at Marshalls. You guys know like um, suede is really in for the fall and winter 2024. So I like it, but it's 30. How much is it? It's 40 bucks. And I feel like I can find an Amazon bag for much cheaper. Because all these are like 30, 39. Yeah, Amazon has like 18, 20 dollar bags because I really like this one. I love the like little gold detailing you guys can see right here and all that. Look guys, they also have it in green. <laughs> You guys know I love me some khaki green. This one's really pretty. And then you have a couple like burgundy ones. Hold on. I find this one's really cute too for like a burgundy bag. I have a couple of others over here. But yeah, this green is pretty again though. $39.99. I don't know. I feel like I just could get something cheaper for a suede bag. But it's really cute. And they have a load of more like other khaki colored bags all the way down here. Like look down this aisle guys. Marshalls? Yeah, they're doing their big one this <laughs> fall. Alright guys, I'm back home. Um, let me see if I put it up. It's too low. Yeah, that's a little better. <laughs> okay, so you guys saw we went to we were at Target, Marshalls, and then I went by Crumble. I'll just show you guys a cookie I got real quick. I think you saw it from the little screen when I was doing the order, but it's the Oreo. I don't know what it's called, Oreo something, y'all. But the Oreo one. <laughs> and it looks like that. Yeah, being very good that I'm not, I didn't get two. Well, it was just really expensive to be honest. Um, let me taste test it for you guys and I'll show you guys everything I got after that. Oh, the icing is good. Oh yeah, and first thing I did you guys, I came home and I got comfy. I put on some like sweats <laughs> because yeah, I was just like, I need to be cozy now. But let's try the cookie, it's a little hard, but. but I'll have the rest of that once I eat after I eat actually so I can have like that for dessert okay so on to Marshalls and TJ Maxx I'm sorry Marshalls and Target I'll start off with the jacket I was telling you guys from Target 
because I know I told you guys I wanted one like this. And guys, it's a black like faux leather bomber jacket. And the quality, I was very much surprised at how good this is. But the brand is Wild Fable, which I think is a Target brand because I've only ever seen it, seen it there. And they make, well, honestly, I really like a lot of their clothing pieces. Very stylish and still pretty um, affordable. So this is $40, which I think is great because I saw a very similar, like basically the same jacket on Monkey, M-O-N-K-I, online for 105 bucks. And I, I was like, let me try this on. And guys, it does it for me. It does it for me. This is literally a size extra small. And look how puffy and very much like insulated it is. It's super thick. So I know this is gonna keep me warm if I go out with this on like a chill night to the movies or something like that. And just imagine this, I saw like this with like some leggings, um, a white kind of shirt like I have on here, probably like a cap, very casual down. But like I said, the material is good. It's gonna keep you warm. Do size down because when I first tried it on, I took a size small and I was swimming in that. So, and honestly, I can even size down to the extra, extra small. This is an extra small, like I said, but they didn't have any extra, extra smalls in the store. But I think this is still pretty good for the price and everything. So we got that. Um, can I show you guys the other clothing piece or anything else I got from Target? I'll show you guys the other clothing piece so we can get down to the clothes. It's literally from Marshalls and I fell in love with this. It was only $19.99. It's like a mock neck sort of short sleeve sweater or like knit top guys. Let me try it on because the shoulders, the details in the shoulders. Look how cute this fits. Like I love this sort of like, what is this called? Like a cap sleeve type of shoulder, but it's literally like nothing padded or anything here. It's just extra fabric that they folded over. And it looks really nice with that like high neck, mock neck top, which if I wanted, I could always just fold it in because I don't have a lot of neck, it's very short. <laughs> but I just thought this was really nice to like dress up if I'm going out, um, church, or even to the office. I feel like it's just a nice piece and super thick fabric black so again you can wear this so many ways so yeah this is the two pieces i got target had a really nice i think i showed you guys the like cream gold button vest but that was a size large i tried it on and it was just so big in like the waist area i tried to see if they had it in store in the store but um it was completely sold out in the store and online so unfortunately i couldn't get that but Marshalls has a lot of good pieces, so I do recommend if you guys are looking for like knits, sweaters, just like stuff for the fall and winter, to go there. Let me change back into my shirt and show you guys everything else I got. Okay, um, so back to Target. Let's start off with like the personal care items. I didn't get the body scrub for the Dove, you guys, in the um, cinnamon pumpkin pie, but I did pick up this, which is the body wash. I just felt like, oh, let me just show you guys the bottle properly. But my whole thing was I felt like it was just too much pumpkin going on if I had to do the scrub plus the body wash. I feel like I like cinnamon scented things but not too much like pumpkin on me. So I don't mind using this for like my base um, for like a shower routine in the fall time. And then if I, I have like something else where the scrub is maybe cinnamon or a little bit more like spice, spice base, I don't mind that but not pumpkin for sure. Um, and then I thought that the cinnamon in this also would go great with my Fenty body butter, which is the cinnamon dream or cinnamon something from like a year or two ago when I bought it. But yeah, so I got this. Um, I picked up a little like eye mask, not a sheet mask. It's actually like an actual mask. I got to put on like a cream mask. And this is from K Bella. It's the 2% collagen solution mask. Um, and it says here, what does it say again? <laughs> Smooth and firm. So I was like, oh, this is nice and obviously collagen is great for your skin. I thought since it's gonna be getting colder, this would be a nice addition just for a little bit. Test it out and try it out and see how I like it. Got me another hair dye. You guys have seen me buy this every time I, I need a box dye. It's the Revlon Color Silk in just the black number 10. And I'm gonna use this because I need to dye two of my wigs, yeah. Cause the, you know, the color fades out after some time. Um, and then the last thing, well, last things from Target. Literally, I've been wanting to try these Bloom Energy drinks, you guys. And they fell, the bag fell. <laughs> so the cans are dented at the bottom a little bit here. But these are the Bloom Energy drinks. Everybody's been raving about like how good they are. So they're called Bloom Sparkling Energy. And I got 
a what's the flavor strawberry watermelon that's always a good try and then a peach mango i don't know if this is in focus for you guys or not a peach mango and a strawberry watermelon and i just thought that these are two good flavors to test it out you guys know i use like i have been using celsius for a while now but i was just like let me just try something out i should say try ugh. i was just like let me try something else out um and see how i like it so that's pretty much it i'm gonna put away the clothes while i'm gonna wash put the other thing to wash um have something to eat because i haven't ate since i left the house this morning for well had my breakfast uh i'll catch you guys later hey guys um so this is editing talana here i was almost done editing and i forgot to end off the vlog is what i noticed so i wanted to come on and do that really quickly um of course thank you guys if you made it all the way to the end as always i appreciate you guys so much and Stay tuned, of course, for more videos, more content coming your way. But until then, thank you again and bye, guys.